What up, though, Heist Man the Foe? Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man, we got to talk about this situation right here between Walt, a.k.a. Freddy Krueger and Black Ink. We're going to tell you why we call him Freddy Krueger in a minute. But Walt from Black Ink, he allegedly took $5,000 from the cash register. And he admitted to it. Teddy and um, Caesar, they had a meeting with him. And he said, I did it, you know, like flat out. It was um, it's a continuation from the last episode. Like at the end of the episode, it was they was about to have a meeting to him. They was looking all frisky, like they just want to do some things to him, man. And um, they had the conversation, and Walt said, "I did it, man. I took the five thousand dollars. I did not take the um, all the valuables and all the other stuff, but I did take it." Then they kicked him out of there, so Walt was no longer a part of the crew. Crazy thing about it, though, later on, or well, the next segment of the episode. Caesar was talking to his um, cousins and they said the Walt used to steal from the wishing well back in the days. Like really from the wishing well. He used to take money out of there. He used to steal dreams. He used to steal wishes. So that's why we're going to call him Walt Kruger for now on. Or Freddie Walt. Whatever you want to call him. I don't know. He he did it though, man. He he the dream stealer. He still, he stole, he like literally took money out of the wishing well. That's, mm, that's savage, man. They were little kids though. I don't know how old they was, but y'all know what I mean. But um, another thing that happened on the episode was um, Caesar, he finally told the crew what happened. He was like, look, man, we got some footage of the stuff. We know how it went down, blase, blase. And it was Walt. And one of the females working there, she said, look, look, I know it was him. I know it was him. Because on during the quarantine, he used to come up there and take money out of the cash register. Come in there counting money. Just doing stuff, being all drunk and belligerent. On his day off. Hey. Can't come into work on your day. Y'all going in the cash register, taking no money. But that's what Walt did, and that's what the female who's um I forgot her name, light skinned Puerto Rican Latino chick. She said, "Man, about dude, that's wild." I think he should have got them hands put on him though, man. Cause for the simple fact, you can't sue nobody who ain't got nothing. So what you gonna do? Sue him and you can't you can't sue Walt. He ain't got the money, so you might well just go and beat him up out of it and um. Get a little street justice. That's how I go about it anyway. Um, that's wild. Caesar kicked him out of the family, though. That's all I was going to get to. I'm sorry, y'all. <coughs> Caesar, he was on his best mafia type deal, man. He said, you're out of the family. When nobody to talk to him, he's kicked out. So he's no longer part of Black Ink, Walt is. He, he's he's done. He's finito. Peace. You out of here, cuz. Um, Puma went and hollered at him, though, because Puma was like, I got to find out what's wrong with my guy, man. Um, you out here stealing money. And this, you know, we known you for over 20 years, bro. So I got to holler at him. And Walt said, let out, man. During this pandemic quarantine, I was um messed up, man. I, I owe child support. You know? And I had to get it. Um, so that's that's the story on that. I think it's something else, though, man. Like, And I don't think alcohol and child support going to have you stealing from friends, man. I don't know, man. This, this, this is a weird situation, but... That's the consensus, man. I mean, that's the story. He said he did it, so he did do it. Now, did he break into the to the building and take the stuff? Hmm. That's up for debate, man. They got footage of it. And they said that's his walk. I mean, he got a signature walk. I ain't never heard of people having signature walks. I mean, people you can tell how you know some people walk. They do walk. So maybe they. I mean, they know that dude, man. They know how that dude walks. So maybe that is him, man. That's about it. I got about this. Hold on, another thing. Some positive about this. Um, I always say they do like three tattoos a season, man. But I think they're going to have some help now because they got this new dude working with them, man. I think his name's Spider. The big dude. The big black dude, man. Um, big shout out to him, man. He look like he bought his business and um, doing this thing. Um, he did a tattoo. A little butterfly tattoo. I think they're up to two tattoos now this season. Um, but I think he going to, you know, he going to do his thing because he, he look like he like to work. He um be filming it, doing footage of it and stuff. So big shout out to him, man. They they need somebody out there um doing some real work, man. And that's about it. Walk took the money. They got a new tattoo artist. Young Bay got a shot. Her baby daddy left her. This. He gonna be paying child support. Nah, I'm playing. Anyway, man. I um I'm done with this story. All right. 
Anyway, we're going to be definitely talking about this and more right here on this channel Friday. I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Y'all got to come through and holler at your boy. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m., 9.15 sometime because my cousin be late. But we're going to get into that next week. Anyway, how I let your boy, Heist Man the Foe, talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Peace.